what is good people it is your boy Svendi bringing you subscriber Sunday yet again got a nice amount of questions for today so we're gonna hop right into this and get this party started the first question for this week is from the funky chicken he says where were you born and where has the series the truth of YouTube gone I was born in Jamestown, New York on May 23rd, 1989 in a lovely hospital called WCA. Um, the truth of YouTube was something that I had started and um, you know I did a couple of episodes of it. I don't know if you guys can still find those on my channel or not, but um, you know I, uh, I wanted to concentrate more on positives rather than negatives. The thing is, is that if I see something come up that I feel is a load of shit, you guys are going to hear about it. You know, I'm not somebody to hold my opinions back. I'm not somebody to, you know, get on my knees and suck up to, to anybody. <laughs> if I got a problem with you, you're going to hear about it. But it, it's not stuff I do concerning personal issues that include me. It's more stuff that I call out that are hurting the community as a whole. A lot of people, uh, you know, give me criticism for doing stuff like that. A lot of people love that. Um, I actually have a video that's coming up probably later on today or tomorrow about some more YouTube shenanigans. So, you know, like I said, if I think it's necessary to talk about, I will. If you guys have any suggestions or recommendations, if you hear about something that you want me to elaborate on that's going on within YouTube, you know, just let me know. I'm always up to listen to stuff. But, um... So that's uh, that, that's where that's gone. The next one is from Video Begins One in One Two in Three Two One. Goodness. Hey Sven, what were your grades like when you were in high school and college? My grades in high school, I was a C student. <clears throat> um, well, up until high school, I was straight A student. You know, honor roll, merit roll, every single time. And when I got into high school, I just didn't try nearly half as hard as I could have and my grades dropped significantly dropped to you know high 60s low 70s the passing grade in my school was 65 so that was the only thing I really cared about was being above that number I didn't care about trying my hardest which is unfortunate but <clears throat> in college I definitely stepped it up you know I made president's list dean's list this list that list <clears throat> you know I uh really busted my ass in college and uh, jumped up significantly. I went to mostly A's, couple of B's, stuff like that. So The next one is from 4EMM. What is your best account that the subscribers can play on and are you annoyed by minors that play M-rated games? Um, either or. Uh, you know, I have Sven D, Sven Dash D. I guess you could say it's my primary account then I have another account the Sven D um, either of those I mean you know I haven't really been on PlayStation too much lately but that's obviously you know just a couple of days off of it was kind of nice but um I'll put both those accounts in the description am I annoyed by minors that play M rated games no I'm annoyed by immature people that play M rated games um, I don't care if you're 13 years old or you're 23 or 33 if you're immature, I really just don't want anything to do with that. It's just annoying, and, um, you know, it's just, it, it's like, you try to have fun with these games, and you get people that really just ruin it just having to listen to them, but thank goodness in a lot of these games, there's mute buttons and stuff like that, but no, I don't care how old you are, how young you are, if you play M-rated games, if, you know, I know Pyro, Pyro 208, that dude's more mature than most people I know in their late 20s. And he's 12, you know, he's just about 13 years old, so. The next one is from I Musty. He says, you live stream a lot and obviously have a lot of free time. Do you have a job? And if yes, what is it? No, I don't. Actually, I stopped working in April. And I graduated with my bachelor's degree in May, I believe it was. Yeah, I graduated in May. Four years of college done. And this summer has been a summer full of me busting my ass on YouTube and looking for jobs <laughs> you know it kinda sucks because 
in the area that I live in, there's really not a lot of opportunities for people my age. Not a lot going on as far as, you know, good jobs for the degree that I have. And it's really unfortunate, but, um, you know, it's just, it's a matter of being patient and sticking to it, which are two things that I've drastically improved in. You know, I was, I, I always had my time, so I got kind of out of shape and, you know, upset about it, but no, it's what, it's whatever. I know I'll find a job. Me and Jill are, uh, she actually has a really good job. And if it wasn't for her, the <laughs> the unemployment I bring in every week really wouldn't be going too far. But, um, you know, it's crazy. I've applied to <clears throat> over 60 places since, I want to say since May, which kind of tells you something. Um, up until now, too, every interview that I ever had, I always got the job. And I've had two interviews that I apparently haven't gotten the job from so it was kind of surprising to me but um you know like I said I'm young I'm only 22 years old still considering going back to college and uh maybe in the fall for my master's degree but we'll see what happens from there the next question is from pyro what do you know he says, Sven, whenever I make a YouTube video, at the end of it, I don't ask for likes or anything. Do you think I should start doing that? Because when I took a look at my, when I, because when I look at a video I posted and it has 40 views and only one like, sometimes it makes me mad. Um, you know, that's, a, that's part of uh, growing pyro. I mean, you can look at my videos. I, I think the most likes I have on a video is 200, which is nothing. It's really nothing at all. I think now I average anywhere from 20 to 50 likes a video. Um, and I don't ask for them very seldomly. I think once you know, once in a while, I'll say, hey, if you guys like the video, definitely give it a rating, whether good or bad. Um, you know, there's a difference between asking for a like at the end of the video or reminding people to give your video a rating. And there's a difference from being white boy and throwing up an annotation on the video every 15 seconds saying, I love it when you like it. So, you know, if you're at the end of a video, yeah, man, there's nothing, I don't see any problem with that at all, you know. I, uh, that's one thing that I really want to start doing is not so much asking people to like my video, but reminding them to give it a rating. You know, whether good or bad, any kind of rating helps me out, helps me make my videos better for you guys. So I think you should approach it like that. You're doing a good thing, though, Pyro. I wouldn't sweat it, man. Mr. 2% Milk says, in your last vid, you talked about elevating your game. I was the next person on that, so I'm wondering if we are still doing it. Also, how did you become an Oakland Raiders fan? Um, right now, I don't want to say too much because I do got something in the works to bring back a series like Elevating Your Game. It's going to be something a lot better than that. Um, so I'll keep you posted on that. And I've been an Oakland Raiders fan ever since I was born. <laughs> Hands down, silver and black, bada bing, bada boom, actually going to see them beat the shit out of the Buffalo Bills in like a week and a half, because Buffalo Bills are pretty much my hometown team, um, but I despise them. I'm all, all about the Raiders, and I look forward to seeing them. I'm, I'm a huge football fan, if you guys don't know that. Like, I mean, die hard football fan. Um, I like football more than I like YouTube. No, I like the Oakland Raiders more than I like YouTube, I'll put it that way. All right. Next one is from DKing1908. What giveaways are still going for your live streams? Who are your favorite commentators? And whatever happened to Requiem of a Dream? Um, I'm still figuring out things to do for live streams. Um, you know, I just... I think I'm going to go and talk to the people in my live streams. You know, I haven't been streaming as much as I have lately, but I'm going to be getting back into that and stuff like that where I stream every day for like 10 hours a day. Um, so we'll go from there. Uh, the people that are at the live streams all the time, I think it'd be fair to let them choose what kind of giveaways we do for that. Some of my favorite commentators, um, number one of all time would definitely be Dr. Disrespect. You know, I do like Kutch. I like how he's pretty humble. I like how he has, uh, he actually has morals and ethics unlike a lot of these big name commentators. Um, you know, I, I really don't watch too many people on YouTube anymore. I think uh, a lot of the people I watch are you guys, my subscribers, and uh, you know, the, the little circle of people that I talk to on YouTube. So, Requiem of a Dream was a little test thing that I had an idea of for a long time ago. <clears throat> and, um, me and Nappy Boy were talking way back when I did that video about doing something on a way bigger scale, and we actually brought it up like a week ago, so 
who knows? We'll see what happens with that. I think uh, the ideas we have are great, and I think it'd be a pretty interesting thing to do. Next one is from Reggae Panavids. All right, favorite porn star? Name her or him. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know, man. I'd have to um, I'd have to think about that. You know, I guess I could say hot celebrity that we talked about I talked about with Twit Twit the other day you know I actually didn't we were talking about hot, hot celebrities the other day and I didn't even mention them the, or think to mention this girl until Twit Twit brought her up and uh, I think her name's Mila Kunis if that's how to pronounce it the girl from that 70s show oh god what I would do just don't tell Julian. but um I'll get back to you on that another notable um I'd say a notable mention would be Ron Jeremy <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I always joke around about that with people. The next one is from Ultimate Gamer 691. Um When did you get interested in becoming a commentator on YouTube? And who was your favorite NFL player of all time? I became interested in why in being a commentator on YouTube when I started watching videos on YouTube back in the summer of 2010. Um Actually, I would say it would be early 2010. You know, I started watching Gold Glove, Dr. Disrespect, you know, Hutch C. Nanners, Wings of Redemption. Uh, those those guys were really the ones that I really got into YouTube watching. Um, my favorite NFL player right now would probably be... Whew, this is a tough one. Right now in the NFL. You know, I really love Darren McFadden for the Oakland Raiders. Um, big fan. Richard Seymour for the Oakland Raiders. Um, actually, you know, Richard Seymour is probably my favorite player right now of all time. Um, I would have to say Tim Brown, Ken Stabler. Hmm, this is tough, man. You can notice they're all Raiders players, but, um, you know, uh, Howie Long. I, the list goes on and on, to be honest with you. So that is that. I think we have one or two more. Oh, no, that, that was that. That's all the questions. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a pretty long one. I apologize for that, but I'm glad that you guys sent me a lot of questions. All you got to do is send me a personal message titled Subscriber Sunday, and you guys can ask me whatever you want and as many questions as you would like. But until next time, people, it's your boy Sven D, and be expecting a video on a nice little, uh, you know, a nice little situation that occurred recently in YouTube. I'll probably be putting that up later today or tomorrow. So until then, people, it's your boy Sven D.